Hello, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today's video is very special to me because we are celebrating my amazing, beautiful, hardworking mom's birthday. And it is a quarantine birthday. We're staying in, but I still want to make it special. I'm planning to do a little decoration around the house. My mom loves strawberry margaritas, so I'm planning to make those for her as well. And I think they'd pair very nicely with the Mexican food. And of course, after I finish preparing everything, the most important thing that I'm gonna do today is clean up after myself because there's nothing my mom loves more than a clean house. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and keep watching to see how everything turns out. about to start the balloon sculpture. For this project, you're going to need some balloons. I want to make mine in the shape of a heart, so I got white, pink, and red. You're also going to need some cardboard, some scissors, and then you don't need this. I almost prepared myself to blow up every single one of these balloons, but I was able to get my hands on this balloon pump, so it's going to make things so much easier. And then you'll also need a hot glue gun. So I'm gonna start by cutting out strips of cardboard. And I'm gonna use those strips to create the outline of my heart. It is a little lopsided, but this is the basic outline of my heart. And I made sure to make the pieces long enough so I could overlap them because the first step is to connect them all together using the hot glue gun. So my outline is complete, but it is gonna need a lot more love before it looks like the real deal. So now I'm gonna blow up all my balloons and then I'll get to gluing them on. So I have a good amount of balloons now and I'm gonna start gluing them on. It's very important to just apply the hot glue to this part of the balloon because if you apply it here, it's probably gonna pop. So I'm gonna put the hot glue in this part right here and then I'll place it down. Be very careful because it is very hot. So I'm also using tape to stick the balloons together so I can kind of mold them to the shape that I want and then I'm adding some extras onto the outside where I'm not connecting it to the cardboard so I won't be able to use glue here. So I am going to add a couple more balloons to the outsides to round out the heart shape a little bit. Um, it's alright. I'm not mad at how it turned out. I would suggest if you're doing this yourself to make the cardboard a little thicker so that you have more surface area to glue down the balloons. But other than that, it's not bad at all. my famous strawberry margaritas and they're virgin so that means there's no alcohol in them and a recipe online would usually call for orange juice lime juice and strawberries plus ice to give it that icy frosty texture but instead i'm doing a little twist and instead of orange juice i'm using blood orange sparkling soda this is from trader joe's it's so good by itself but i think it makes the margaritas a little bit more flavorful and then I'm going with non-alcoholic margarita mix in the lime flavor. And instead of using a ton of ice, I actually froze my strawberries overnight so that they would give it the icy texture without the ice diluting it, the margarita too much. So I'm just gonna add everything together and start blending it. Going in with about a cup 
of the orange juice. And then a cup of the margarita mix. So I have everything in here and typically if you're using regular lime or lemon juice you could add some extra sugar but since the margarita mix that I used already has some sugar in it I'm not going to add any extra unless I taste it at the end I think it needs a little more sweetness. So, so I have my frozen strawberries in here so for now I'm not going to add any ice I'll just start blending it and then once it's all blended I'll only add as much ice as I need because I want to maintain the flavors and I don't want to dilute it too much with the ice. I'm going to try some in my spoon here. Wow, this is so good and it's so sweet so I'm definitely not going to add any more sugar but it's not icy enough so I will add a little bit of ice now. So the next step is presentation. I wanna make sure that this looks as good as it tastes. So first I picked up these really cute straws with umbrellas on them. I think it gives it all a little tropical vibe like we're on vacation. And I'm dipping my glass into some lemon juice. And then over here I have a mixture of sugar and pico de gallo spice mix. Looks like this. So I'm gonna dip my glass into the mix. Now this is the first time I'm doing this and it actually looks very authentic. And then I'm not gonna just pour this directly here because I don't want it to splatter and I don't wanna mess with the rim with the sugar on it. So I'm gonna actually spoon the margarita into my glass. So here's how it turned out. I think it looks super cute. It tastes so good. I'm really excited to show my mom. Oh my God, it's so good. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah. I just realized that my shirt has little hearts like cut into it. So I guess the theme is hearts since earlier I made that heart shaped balloon sculpture, which is still holding up pretty good. All the balloons are still stuck together and it's staying held up. So I'm so happy with the way that turned out. We just finished lunch and my mom loved the virgin strawberry margaritas and they went really well with the Mexican food that we had. And for dessert, we had tres leches cake. It was so good. And we just did a little gift giving. My mom really enjoyed her gifts. I'm so happy. And now we're just gonna relax. My family loves to watch movies together. I think we're gonna rewatch RBG and we'll just spend some time together for the rest of the day. And I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much for checking out my video today. You should totally try out my secret special recipe for the virgin strawberry margarita. Let me know how you think it tastes. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.